Model year 26, so we just launched our new features here at Commodity Classic in Denver. We're really excited. It's building on the foundation that we sat or, or, or put into place last year with the all new S7 behind me, and then also our next generation technology. And so the whole, it gets better over time, it got better already with 26, and we're really excited where we're building upon that base technology. So for an example, with harvest settings automation, we're bringing in more crops, more insights, more capabilities with less interaction. An example, we had uh, auto track turn automation, but you had to raise and lower your header. That's now automated. We also now offer out of crop settings. So it's automation on all the time, providing incremental value for our growers. So we're really excited on how, from a technology standpoint, we're continuing to add upon the value that we set with model year 25. In addition to that, it's a really big year for us with front end equipment. So we've uh, launched our brand new 18 row, 30 inch folding corn head. It's one of the largest folding corn heads on the market today. And, and that's really gonna ensure we're unlocking the capacity our X9s can provide and allow our growers to, to go at maybe a little bit lower ground speed, but still maximize that productivity and get the crop out of the field. Now from a draper standpoint, right behind me here, we have a lot to talk about. We're introducing our brand new three-piece reel on our HD series. This is available on both our rigid and our flex knife configurations. Uh, but the three-piece, right, we, we understand with, with varying terrain and a lot of crops like pulse crops, edibles, lentils, crops that have lower pods, this starts to make a lot of sense with the, the reel to cutter bar relationship staying very consistent across the entire cutting width. We also offer our two reel, which we've had in the market for quite some time. So we're, we're giving our customers a lot of opportunity to choose what best fits their operation. In addition to that, uh, the three feet, three piece config, we also have our cam reel, which is also new from 25. Uh, that's gonna provide a lot of value. That's gonna allow for a lot more kind of aggressive engagement, help with lodge or down crop, but also a much cleaner release when it's on the belt to ensure that we're not picking crop off the belt um, and, and, and getting all the crop into the combine where we want it. So really big year for us, building upon the foundation we set in 25, but uh, continue to bring some really exciting enhancements. And, and so building off of 25, and in 25 we talked about 10 plus 20. 10% fluid efficiency gains with all of the enhancements we are delivering with our S7. We put a new engine in, we've changed the venting of, of, the, uh, of the shoe, we've changed some drives, um, and, and so we've really added uh, the efficiency to the S7. A lot of learnings that, that we were able to, to learn from and, and engage with the X9 on. So we're really excited about fluid efficiency. The 20, comes available for both the S7 and the X9 with that technology I'm talking about. We're seeing up to 20% productivity gains when our automation systems are fully engaged. Pretty incredible numbers when we think about a machine that the STS technology was in its 25th year and we're talking about still being able to get 10 and 20% more capabilities out of it. So we're excited about the portfolio we have to offer to our growers. Another really key enhancement that we're, we're excited about and showing here is combine auto unload. So that's taking that unload uh, step within uh, the harvesting production system to the next level. That, automated, that automates it a lot more for our growers and it really ensures that we're maximizing the ability uh, regardless of who's operating, uh, maximizing the ability to unload and get the most out of each cartload um, and, and speed up the logistics side of grain harvesting. Yeah, it, it's certainly a challenge and, and we're all feeling it very much. And, and the key for us is to provide value that has a positive impact on the balance sheets. And I think with what we have, we're absolutely doing that. So with the, the fluid efficiency gains, with the productivity gains, we're able to harvest more with less. So that, that's one key piece. But in addition to that, it's not only required to buy a brand new piece of equipment to get some of this technology. As an example, that cam reel, 
you can replace existing reels on RDF and HDs with the new cam reel technology. We also have puck solutions or performance upgrade kits, which we've had in the market for quite some time. We actually led with our cross auger shutoff, aimable spout. So you can absolutely enhance your current fleet if you're not quite at a point where the, the new portfolio we have available is gonna fit from that standpoint. So we're really excited to engage and provide value within the entire life cycle. Across our entire line of all four of our S7s and our two X9s, all of them can be in, in uh, uh, large singles, duals, or track configurations are available. With, with, with what we're showing here, that will be available for ordering in the August time frame, which is historically when we start to take orders for the next model year. So August, uh, first week of August of this year is when all of what we're talking about here at Commodity will be available for our dealers to configure and our, our customers to select and uh, place their orders on. For more information, um, uh, our, our growers can go to deer.com, all the information's available out there, and also your, your trusted local dealer uh, will uh, will be able to provide a lot more information, details, uh, and, and really help to ensure we're getting the right uh, products to uh, each and every one of our customers.